welcome to fight well, number two. Quarterfinal. In the blue corner, 24 years old, 1 meters 91, 99 kilos, is a kickboxer and a Thai boxer from Split, Croatia, Ladislav Bacic. Well, this is the only full time professional boxer here, Bacic. Here he is then, as he said, 24 from Croatia, former amateur who's done a bit of kickboxing. He is, though, a professional boxer, made his debut back in 2008, lost to a fighter also making his debut, went back to kickboxing before returning to the ring this year. He's had four fights, all four rounders, and uh, he's won three and he's lost one of them. Vladislav Bacic! He's even got a sense of humor, judging from the ring music he's coming into. Yeah, he's from the Joker gym in Split, so... <laughs> it's a great name, fantastic <laughs> name. But we should see some semblance of some he's real boxing skill here. Corner, he said he's old. a pro. One meter is 85. Well, he's a novice pro, so let's see yeah. what he does. International Italian champion of kickboxing. Born in Romania but based in Torino, Italy. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucian Dalli Lenku. So Lucian Dalli Lenku is 28. Kickboxer and a Thai boxer from Torino. A record of 23-4-0 with 12 stoppages. Started fighting quite late on in his career, 15, 16 years of age. He's a lifeguard by profession. Look out for what appears to be quite a decent right hand. Certainly did enough damage to a guy called Todor, Todorov. He fought back in late July. Like so nothing more than standing in the center of the ring and engaging in a war. So, ladies and gentlemen, this could be quite an interesting. This summer they fought each other. Styles here. And Ladislav Bacic in the blue corner. One on points in kickboxing. Tonight, it's a rematch. Big applause, please, for Latislav Bacic from Croatia. Well, you'd think Bacic would be favorite and then, wouldn't you, corner, if he's one in kickboxing, Romania, but he is a, a boxer with some pro fights, Danilenku. then you would think he would beat Danilenku again, but we'll see. The referee is still Vladimir Kondo from Bulgaria. Three rounds. First round. 54 the I repeat again. We're going to deliver the ball to the next spinner vertebra under the belt. Any questions? Good luck, both of you. Shake hands. Back to the corner. Judge one. Judge two. Judge three. Timekeeper. Box! So everybody's ready. Round one. And already we've seen, I think, more quality in the opening four seconds here than we saw in the previous fight. And as we said, with Danilenko liking nothing more than getting into the center of the ring and engaging in literally a stand-up war, uh, then this is going to be quite interesting. This does tend to uh, try and throw the big right hand that uh, Bayic is not going to be dictated to, so it seems. Yeah, you're right. Bayic can jab. He's using his height and reach and he's getting his jabs off first. Danilenko a little bit open already but you can see what he's looking for, the right hands. Stop! Break, step back. Box! Yeah, very nearly caught him on the, uh, on the break there. Oh, he took a good left hook then from Danilenko. Yeah, he did, his, his gloves are... he's too open. Bayic, but he's got the ability to just jab this man all night if he just jabs and moves. No time to impress. Three rounds, that's all they've got. And Danny Lenku off to a decent start. And it just shows so you can sometimes find a decent fight in these, uh, in these events. Danilenko will be pleased with the start that he's made, and Bayic will perhaps be uh, surprised, possibly, at the uh, 
quality of what's in front of him. Well, I still like that um, Bayic is landing some jabs. He's still, he's too open. He's taking those clumping shots around the side every so often, but he's got the ability to win it. He's got the the, 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 the jab that can help him so much if he can just get this man under control. Might take a bit of time, though. As you say, this is a bit of a warrior in front of him. We talked about the right hand, and uh, ironically, it's the one punch you haven't seen so far from uh, <laughs> Isn't uh, Danny Lee. Way? Always the way. Well, maybe he conned us as well as Bang. Oh, good jab. That's what I mean. The stiff jab. Now, oh, referee, please, what are you doing? Oh, goodness sake. It was a jab and just, just rocked his knees. Do doesn't need a standing eight for that. Hey. Nevertheless, Vladimir Condor of Bulgaria says he does. So that's a big swing in Bayek's favour. Step back. He may as well now just conserve a bit of energy and ride out the final 15 seconds of the round because he isn't going to win it. Good body oh, shot. Yeah, great body shot that from Bayek. He's switched from body to head to body quite well in this fight. And a half decent right hand as well just found its way through. Danilenko's disappearing guard. So he's done enough to take that round. Yeah, came through one or two little sticky patches where he took a few shots that he shouldn't, but then he got lucky. A stiff jab that it was the punch that he'd had all the way through the fight, and he just he just really stepped in with that one. This man Danilenko took it square, rocked a little bit, and was unfortunate to get a standing eight count, but that will have gone against him, and that's a 10-8 round to, to Bayic. Yeah, this is uh, on your screen now. Uh, keep your favourite. If there's one of these guys that you are, you, you think is worth keeping in uh, for Biggest Better 4, uh, then you can actually get online biggestbetterboxing.com and actually vote for them, and uh, they will get carried forward. So it's a bit like Strictly Come Dancing, isn't it? You get, you, you get knocked out, but we'll bring you back. We will give you another life. <laughs> The guy, the, in the, first, but the guy in the first fight was like Anne Widdicombe, then. That's, that's what you're trying to say, the chess player. <laughs> He's, uh, it, it depends, because the public have a funny sense of occasion, a funny sense of humour. Absolutely. As we've seen on many occasions with these uh, things. But here, Danilenko literally has got to win these next two rounds, because, uh, as Bob said, 10-8 round for the standing eight count. There's the right hand to set him up, and then switches with the left hook to the body. And that was a better shot than the jab that rocked Danilenko in the first place. I, I know there wasn't the same effect, so uh, the referee's not going to jump in, but that was a good reply from Danilenko. This is a much better fight than the first one, isn't it? <laughs> much better. Two guys that are, that are excuse me, physically well-conditioned. He, he does leave himself wide open, doesn't he, Danilenko, with his arms swinging away. Yeah, he does. And maybe that because they're younger as well. You know, Bayic 24, Danilenko 28. Well, this might be, as we said, the guy that you want to keep in. If he turns out to be the loser, Danilenko, and he's given you enough entertainment, you fancy getting him back in for a biggest better four when they uh, reconvene with all the previous winners from the three previous events. And that was a right hand again from Danilenko. And he just stopped Bayic in his tracks momentarily. But the jab's been having its effect. Danilenko bleeding from the nose now. Leaping in, that's a good body shot. He's, he he picks some nice punches in patches, by itch. Just past the halfway point of this fight. By itch with the 10-8 round in round one. He's thrown perhaps the cleaner shots in this second round, but Danilenko certainly isn't out of this. No, Bayic is right, fighting the wrong fight entirely. But he's going to get... Whoa, he nearly took the referee out with a left hook, and he's going to get a standing eight. So that's one each. So it's a 10-8 a 10 But again, the, the referee is stepping in a bit too prematurely here. Yeah, you I think? think so. But, uh, you know, this is professional boxing, but still... Uh, it's by it's his own fault jab for again. not using his jab for not leading. Oh. That's a good left hook response, but he's fighting 
He's fighting Danilenko's fight and, and taking risks he doesn't need to take. We'll see whether he pays for it. Nothing to choose between the two now. And, uh, What's happened there? Gum shield. Nice guard, God. Yeah. Come on. Box. So the two youngest fighters in this event putting on a decent show here and a 10 8 round in favor of Lucian Danilenko has leveled it up with one to go. It's all about who impresses most then.